Hey everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. In front of me I have the Nendoroid number 984 which is of Kingdom Hearts Riku, Kingdom Hearts 1 Riku specifically. Now this follows on from the Sora Nendoroid which I've got right here and I'll bring him out again once I've unboxed him. But this follows on from that release which I've done an unboxing for on my channel so you can go check that out. Now I've had this for about a week but I was on holiday so now I'm going to unbox this. I haven't even touched it, tape is still on there. But here's the box, the front of the box with a nice window display of Riku right there with some of the parts on display of what he uh, comes included with. Now there's some faces that are hidden behind here, but that's kind of normal. On the side then is photos of the Riku Nendoroid. Same for the reverse plus some additional info in Japanese. This side is very similar. Now showcasing the Sora one, which is sold separately. And then on the top is also Riku. So it's a similar box to what you'd found in with Sora. So I'm gonna op open this up right now and let's see what he looks like out of the box. Here's Riku out of the box. Now he doesn't actually come with a lot, which I thought he would come with a bit more things, but hey ho, here he is anyway. So here's the figure, his one additional face, one pair of additional hands, and then the Keyblade, his other weapon, which I've actually forgot the name of right now, and then the two play wooden swords that he, him and Sora are playing with in the beginning on Kingdom Hearts 1. Uh, but here's a stand as well that almost all Nendoroids come with. Now I showed this in the Sora one and other Nendoroid figures that I've done. So you just grab the shaft and then you plug the end to one end, the proper end like so, and any of these holes here. And then this one goes into the back of the figure, which I'll show you later on. So I'm gonna put the stand aside. It comes with a spear neck joint, which I've never actually had to use for other Nendoroids, but like, you know, it's always good to have a spear one. It comes with an additional face, which is of him with an open smile, which is this. Now it looks very good, the eyes, the colouring and the general details are quite good. Simplified, Nendoroids are very simple in general, but they are quite emotive and quite cute, I find. So this is the additional face, one pair of additional hands which are to grip his weapons, like so. And then go with this one. So this is one which name I forget, but this, this is what he gets in Kingdom Hearts 1. So this is the side of that, let's just focus that in. And he doesn't want it. No. There we go. So it's purple with with bat wing to, sort of shape to it. And then the red colouring. The blue gem in the middle. Eye. So same on the other side. Should they help. So yeah, his, his additional hand just grabs onto that. Show you this one, which is the Oblivion Keyblade. These are very simply, simply designed for Nendroids. They don't have too much data, detailing compared to, say, the SH figure arts sort of figures. Or the bring arts or play arts. Like so, there's no real chain on here, it's all plastic molding. So, yes. And then two extra wooden swords that him and Sora were playing with in the beginning of the game on Destiny Island. Very simple, just plain brown, that's all it is. By the way, you get an extra instruction leaflet, which I probably won't need to consult for this, but if I need it, it is right there. So here is the figure. Now this is Riku, he stands, should be standing very similar to the height of Sora, which again I'll bring out um, momentarily. I'll put him here so I don't forget. So here is Riku with his nice long silver locks, great shading on them. His neutral face is just a neutral smile, it looks great. Eyes are pretty neutral as well, looking straight ahead, which also look quite good. And then the rest of his outfit with the yellow and blue pants, yellow top and blue pants, which looks pretty consistent and just like the game, uh, maybe some, some slight or detail differences, but you'll have to do side by side to compare. He's got the straps on the back on his backside there, cross shape, raised molding there on his back. This is the hole where the stand plugs into. So all in all, it looks pretty good. I like it. It's consistent with the Sora, which is right here. So yeah, of course Sora's a bit taller because of spiky hair. But yeah, he looks quite nice. So then for articulation, I'm going to assume it's the same as Sora. So let's bring his head down, like so, upwards, side to side. Doesn't really work on this one, Can't, not really, but he can look right and left all the, way around, all the way around should you need it. Remember, he's got a spare joint, so if something happens with this one, you can probably replace that quite easily. For his uh, arms, you can lift them up about that high forwards, he's got the twist in the upper bicep there. These are usually just um, pegs, like so, 
there's a bit of plastic when you take him off so you can just take the pull the arm out and then replace it back like so and of course the you twist at the shoulder then for the bicep 90 degrees yeah that's what i meant and then the way sometimes do is remember they're tiny so they can disconnect from the sockets a little bit it's not a huge issue but just keep in mind with Nendoroids, it can happen. And then the twist at the hand, and then you pull it off, you can replace the hand, which I'll show you later on. Comes with open open palm hands. By the way, you can see the detail in his glove is not fully gloved. If you remember, they don't come up all the way to the, uh, the wrist. They just come up just at the end of the palm. He's a stylish guy after all. He doesn't have any torso sort of joint or anything like that. Not that I can tell. He's got a twist, maybe? Not really because of the straps right here are actually sculpted. So we can't do anything there by the looks of it. Let's get a closer look. Nope, doesn't really look like it. You can try as you might, but yeah, not a lot. Then for the leg, you can lift up. Not a lot actually because of that one strap there. Same will happen to the other side. Yeah, so you can't actually sit down, which is a bit of a shame. Bit of an oversight, but hey, he can't do that. Then he's got the twist there on the upper thigh in the hip area. And then the knee, does it bend? It does. Okay, it looks a bit weird now, but yeah, 90 degrees there. And then he's got the twist at the foot. The, the cuff of the pants do twist around too. And then the foot doesn't really go much further. I mean, the knee and the foot are all kind of combined into one little thing. Does he have any rotation there? Let's try and feel. Yes, he does. A little bit. Let's hold that together. No toe pivot. So very, very limited articulation for him then. Uh, it's an android. It's a very tiny figure. They're only poseable to a certain degree anyway. Um, but it's enough to kind of get some cool, cute little poses out of him paired with Sora. So that's the articulation. Let's bring out Sora. See how they look together. Holding hands. So yeah, look. Looking at them both together, they look very, very cool. I mean, I've got a very serious looking Sora face, facial expression on uh, him right now, but they look very, very cool together, side by side. And I'm glad to own these. Look very, very nice. Let me change the um, hand for Riku. Take his right hand off, and then apply his other right hand, which again is on the peg. That's easy as that, easy like so. Now I'm going to put the Keyblade on. Uh, yeah, put that. Actually, I just stabbed myself, my thumb, with um, his uh, bangs right here. It's actually quite sharp. So, yeah, be careful with that. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to do that because it's actually quite dangerous. It's kind of, it actually kind of hurt. Anyway, uh, because of his tiny hands, I'm going to just try and put it on with the hand detached and do that separately. So, I'm going to do this one. Uh, there we go. That was pretty easy to go on. And then you just apply it back. I'm going to take it off and then try the wooden swords. Now. Yeah, you have that go into place. And then, yeah, just replace all the pieces back. Just here a bit. And I just want to stab my uh, thumb with this here, right here. And here, they're pretty sharp, actually. So, yeah. And there we go. That's Riku holding his weapon. Uh, and then we can replace his face. Now the face, I'm assuming, is going to be the same as every other Nendoroid. So you pull off the front of the hair. Then you have access to the face. Pull it off like so. Grab the other face. He's only got one other face. And then you just align it. Push it in. Replace the hair. And there you go. So there we've got Riku smirking. Now I, I think I know which kind of smirk they're going for uh, in the cutscene. Uh, he does this kind of grin. Uh, so it's a shame he's only got one extra face and not two like Sora has. Sora has a sleeping one as well. Uh, but Riku, mm, yeah, he's just only got two, which is a bit of a shame. So there you go. Very simple to replace. Very simple to replace the face and the weapon. And you've got a choice of three to use. So you've got Keyblade, the wing Keyblade-ish thing, and then the play one of the wooden sword. So he's pretty bare bones, actually, I, I find. He doesn't come with like a power poof through that Sora does. Um, but you know what? It's okay. It's not supposed to be a, ma a figure with tons and tons of stuff, but it's cool. Uh, yeah, not much more else to say about them. They look both great together as a pair. If you do have one or the other, I think you should definitely complete it and get the other one that you're missing. 
Uh, I got mine from uh, Nin Nin Games this time, actually. I got mine from... Uh, it's been out for a couple of weeks. It shouldn't be hard to get right now. Still, it should still be available for retail. It's probably about 4,000 yen, around that much uh, from most import sites. You're going to uh, you're gonna pay a lot more if you go with Amazon.com because they you end up paying a localized price there. So try and avoid that if you can. Otherwise, yeah, you should try and get them, pick them up, pick up both of them, and take some amazing photos with them. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Do check out my channel and videos for many other figurine unboxings and opinions and a look in general at uh, what's, cut, what's out. Um, Sora has already been covered before a couple of weeks back, so take a look there. There's also Fig Arts videos for him there. If you like this video, if you like the channel, if you like the content, you know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.